First question. Yeah. Of course, uh, we're here every day. Junior D, 1975. Recently played new and tasty. I missed the original Oddworld, but glad I finally got to play this version. Loved the game. Will there be more from Abe and company? Do you ever get sick of answering this question? <laughs> People always want more from you know, the Oddworlds. My, uh, my, uh, I and more people is better. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's a good <laughs> yeah. place to be in, I imagine. So, yeah, you know, it's always a, it's an exciting question, no matter how many times you answer it, right? Because at least someone's asking. So I'm thrilled that someone's asking. <laughs> and, and, uh, but uh, the answer is yes. Yeah. Exactly what? I can't announce yet. Um, how there, long before you can announce there's it? An ob there's an obvious one. Well, what, one of the things we said was if New and Tasty was successful, we asked the audience before we even started it, what's the next one you would want to see? And they said, do the same with Exodus if you do that one any good. <laughs> you know, if this then, one isn't garbage, yeah, please and then, do and then that. they actually like voted this, they rated this with our, our fan base. So we said, okay, that's the next logical one to go into production. So we're planning that now. Nice. So, so ex Exodus, and we're going to have the community name it. So, the community so name is the subtitle. Facebook. Okay, yeah, okay, so okay, we, okay, we'll okay. poll Facebook, we'll poll the website, we'll, we'll poll, and we'll say, please, you know, give us your opinion, and, yeah, and yeah, we'll yeah. go through, and we get great ideas like that, you know. And uh, so what I'm hoping to do is that with the success of New and Tasty, which has been great, you know, and, you know, we're, we're thrilled. And then if we can do it again with uh, uh, Exodus, which may be called something like twice as flavor or something, whatever, <laughs> whatever the audience wants to call it is what we're going to go for. And then once we do that, then I think we're in a position where we can actually afford uh, new AAA class content from Oddworld IP. Nice. And this is something where I think, you know, people say, why don't you do a Kickstarter? Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? I'm like, eh. you know, Kickstarter, if you say we need $3 million, I don't think you're getting a dime, right? But like, people aren't really going to step up if you say you need this much. So what do you have to do? You have to say you need lower amounts. And this is what I think got Peter Molyneux in trouble. You know, mm -hmm. it's like, you know, they're trying to do it cheaper, but they know they can't, but they need to get the job because they want to make it happen. Right, but they right, know right, they right, can't. Right. You know, it happens to the startups here in Silicon Valley sure. all the time. right? Yeah, yeah. They're willing to do try and launch their dream for less money than it's actually going to take. And that's a really dangerous proposition. Yeah. So what I felt like is that, <clears throat> and we've discussed this a lot, new odd world IP, I have to figure out a way to deliver a smaller portion to the audience earlier, which is really, you know, sort of the newer models anyway. And and make sure it's as good as the quality that they're expecting. Right. And most of the time and energy, in my experience, has been in the creative new stuff. That's where you burn a lot of cycles, you burn a lot of money, and, it, and it's failing. Like Stranger, Stranger's Wrath, for yeah. example. Or, or Abe's Odyssey, you know. People weren't building games about rescuing other characters. Yeah. And so that meant talking to other characters and moving them around on a platform. There's all this subtle stuff that, that necessarily isn't being appreciated. You had to figure technical. out. Yeah, you yeah, had yeah. to figure out. And it failed a lot before yeah. it worked. Stranger's Wrath. Every one of your pieces of ammo has AI. And it has an, an AI effect on <laughs> In other In the back, characters. maybe you don't do that. Maybe yeah. you don't do that again. <laughs> so we're like, what's a really stupid thing we can do that'll take us lots of time and energy and yeah. cost us a lot before we figure out how to do it right? Yeah. And that's where you wind up burning a lot of stuff. And I do want to be more creative in, in the things. And I do want to explore more areas. Like, I, I, I feel like... Uh, that with game design, we have we're still in the you know we're still in the black and white film phase. We're still in talkies, basically. You know, we, I mean, there's amazing things out there. Grand Theft Auto Five is just yeah, mind blowing. Yeah. You know, and there's all this amazing stuff. But from a storytelling, you know, medium possibility, we're still just scratching the surface, yeah. and it's going to only get bigger and bigger. The industry's so young. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's so easy to get caught up that every seven years there's something that looks yeah. amazing and better than what it did before. Yeah. But in reality, yeah, you compare exactly. us to movies, and we're still barely out of the stone age. Yeah. Right? So we got to figure out, you know, better how to promote ourselves, better how to to nurture the social out there. You know, doing what you guys are doing well. We yeah. can, we need to do it better.